Who is it? Nathan shot himself. Where is he? Downstairs. I'll get my key. Ow! Jeez, how'd this happen? Accident. Hello? Oh, where's Eric? I don't know. He didn't answer. It's a gunshot wound, Michelle. Are you coming? I can't leave Hannah. Fine. For the record, I called. Why did you call cops? I have to. You can go. I'll be okay. Go on. Back to bed. <laughs> I couldn't find you, so I called Michelle. She said she didn't want to leave Hannah alone. Accident? He's cleaning his gun. Shot himself. He's going to have to spend the night. You knew where I was. I didn't want to leave Hannah. Why? You said you'd cover for me. What's the big deal? It was an accident. Exactly. So all you had to do was the paperwork. See you tomorrow. Italian Vogue wants to come up here and do a spread once we're into production. Yeah, they love it. And the trap lines the Lynx River to the showrooms of Europe. Which showrooms? These are the people we're talking to. They want to see the product. Now, yeah, this one's from Yellowknife. They endorse the project, want to commit to 25% of the funding. Once we get the word from Northern Affairs, so <laughs> give us the word. Did you talk to the minister? I didn't get that far. The deputy minister cut me off. He killed it. You said it was a done deal. I said I personally would get behind it, all right? I did. It didn't fly. What exactly did he say? He didn't say anything. He just started asking questions. Like what? Like, you want to design a market you own first? Fine. Who's going to run the company on a day-to-day -day basis? We are. And with respect, what does Chief Kennedy know about the retail business? We're going to go one store at a time. We talked about this. Who's going to count the money? Counts. Who's gonna find the market? It's all in there. I think this is a good idea. It's a great idea. And someday we'll make it work. But not now. Bullshit! We need people who know what they're doing. We need backers. White people? Come on! Oh, I see. So we take all this... And we give it to a couple of white guys in Toronto who make the dough, and we get... What, Luke? What do we get? The factory. The factory is doable. If you get someone to market the furs. That's how all this started, isn't it? With those Italians? The factories will work. You'll back us, right, Luke? 100%? No. No what? Read my lips. I am not going back to the Sengali. I don't get it. 
company, so they get to market the furs. We get the factory and the jobs. You remember the jobs? That is how all this started. We can do it ourselves. How? You just pulled a plug on us. Private money. Venture capital. Now, the people just want to be able to sell their furs. They just want jobs. They'll get their jobs. And their own company. When? But all they know is you let the Singali get away. And they're pissed off. Oh, uh, there's an election coming up. DLT, no mail. Some of this stuff goes back 10 years. Should all be on computer, though. Albert took Nathan out. He's okay? Yeah, he's gonna rest up for a while. You know, I've heard about people shooting themselves in the foot, but I've never actually seen it. You know, anything before 89, I'm gonna toss. Michelle. What? Let's make the rounds. Come on. I, I gotta finish this stuff. Come on. It'll be good. We gotta get out of here. How much gas is missing? About half a drum. You just used it up. I don't think so. Hi, Michelle. Michelle. Someone's stealing my gas. No one's stealing anything. Where's it going? How about your truck? Has it ever happened before? All the time. Maybe we should uh, have a look at the fuel tank. Maybe it's Roland. He takes gas all the time. Roland pays for it. What do you think? About what? Well, the gas. Michelle. Come on, asshole. You want to go? Stop it. Come on. Come on. Shoot! Did you see that? Jesus, Joey, look at you. Sorry. Willie, the gas. Call post-traumatic shock. Please. It's a normal reaction. I've been through it myself. You blame yourself. You think you'll never get over it. I don't blame myself. What about a healing circle? Well, Ellen thought it might be a good idea. CMP Lakes River. What the fuck? Broken? Nope. Tell him what happened. Joy? What happened? TV called him a pussy. Michelle was there. Go on, tell him. She tried to break up the fight. TV said. What? Don't shoot, don't shoot. She freaked. Well, I gotta go, Leon. Back to Ottawa? Wolverine Lake. There's no white fish in the Ottawa River. <laughs> what else did Peter say? Uh, about the Italians? They were gonna pay top dollar. And Peter said no deal unless they build a tannery. What'd the band say? And ask them. The tannery is a great idea. The Italian said no. We are left with nothing. Oh, sir. For what? Don't shoot. Huh? I didn't know she was so sensitive. Not, but I am. You're banned from the rec center. Why? He's the one who was asking for it. He's tired of taking crap from you, and so am I. You stand in there. I mean it. 
How come he's not banned? Why, you can't... Yeah, what? Fighting with Joey? I've got to do something, Peter. He's ruining it for everyone. What are you going to do? Watch him day and night? He'd laugh in your face. Michelle broke up the fight. TV pulled a number on her. Don't shoot, don't shoot. What'd she do? She panicked. She needs time. Some people are running out of patience. I'm not one of them. She blames me. Well, you're not the issue now. She is. I'd like you to talk to her. It's gone. Who's gone? McNabb. I got a call into the deputy minister. Maybe he didn't get the proposal. And what if he didn't? Then I want to know why. I want to know what the hell McNabb's up to. Listen, I, uh... I heard what happened. What? The rec center, TV. I'm sorry. You want to take a couple of weeks off? I don't know, get out of here for a while? No. You saved at least one life, Michelle. Maybe two. I know. Well, then, what is it? It's... Well, you don't think you're a good cop? You're a great cop. What then? I'm not just a cop. Oh, neither am I. It's a job. But you have to draw a line between who you are and what you do. I can't. You have to. Forget that, it's not important. Suburban could use a tune-up. Sign could use a new coat of paint. You scared me. You're always scared. No wonder. Where's Nathan? Well, I don't know. What about his foot, Albert? It's going to get infected. He'll learn. Okay. What are you doing here? What do you think I'm doing here? You know, you should learn to take care of yourself. I take care of myself, thanks all the same. Then why are you always scared? I'm not. Who says I'm scared? What am I supposed to do with that? Bag of moose?
boss thinks we should talk. I think we should talk. You think this is ever going to stop? I had no... I had no right to second-guess you the way I did. Well, it doesn't change what happened. It wasn't your fault. It wasn't. I should have stayed out of it. You sound like you almost believe it. I do. I don't know why I wanted this job in the first place. Because you didn't want people to be afraid like they used to be. Mitch, they're not afraid of you. That's not why I'm... Well, it is, but it's... What? Peter! Michelle? Peter, guess who's arriving on the plane in three minutes? Maria Sangali. What the hell is she doing here? How should I know? Come on. Go on, it's okay. I'll work it out. I was so close, I could not resist. How close? The Fort Nelson. Ah, you know this place? I've heard of it. Oh, you know the chief of Fort Nelson? Thomas Wheeler. Yes, this is the man I was speaking with. Uh, nice man. Nice fur. Not as nice as ours, do we? Hey! I can't go in there. Neither can you. No, Joey, no. You can't stop us. And what are you gonna do, call the cops? For the Italian coffee. From Milan? Hey, Edmonton. Ed. <laughs> From Milan. Made by Sangalli. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. So did Thomas Wheeler give you a good price? Yes, very good. Very fair. And you just sort of ran into him on the street, started talking? No. Your uh, consulate in Italy was very helpful. Now, they give me many names. But I prefer dealing with you. My brother and I, we talk to our people about the factory, and they tell me that I am crazy. I mean, if the Canadian government uh, want to give half the cost, so we build here. Here? A Lynx River. I say to them, uh, if I return now, I look a fool. You know what they say to me? They say, Ma, you are a fool, because this is good deal. So. Here I am. We're going to do it ourselves. The factory. Everything from the trap line to the consumer. Our own company. We're going retail. Now, what do you know about this business? Uh, this cost a fortune. Now, where do you get the money? We have the full support of our federal government. 
Every time I reach for your hand, you pull it back. I go back tomorrow. Now you think yourself very carefully, because the people here, they are very poor. Hmm? Pilot picked her up in Edmonton. Where did she come from? Ottawa. Edmonton Mulberry, Mulberry Nelson, then here. Was she by herself? Apparently. What? Luke leaves. She arrives. Let's build a factory. <laughs> you in on this, too? Go to hell, Peter. See? It's Harris Miller. Eyes open. Oh, silk. So, how is Ottawa? Very pretty. Canals, rivers, uh, like Ura. Luke, show you around? Who? Look. You can get everything you want here, and I can help you. But you gotta tell me what's going on. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I don't understand. I'm the one who brought you up here, remember? I want this to happen. Everybody want this to happen, hmm? Everybody but Peter. Well, Peter's wrong. He, uh, doesn't know I'm here. So, what do we do? He won't let them into the rec center. Hannah never said anything. Did you ask her? Do you have any suggestions? Get them together and make them work it out. TV doesn't understand talk. He understands a kick in the ass. Fine, so kick him in the ass. I want him watched. We catch him interfering with the other kids, we bust them and we charge him. Understand? See you first thing in the morning. at the rec center. I want TV watched. I'm serious. You're gonna build the factory? I thought you said no. Nah, I changed my mind. Uh, it is for this reason, uh, because I am back. What did Peter say? Uh, Peter does not need the sandalis. He has his own plans, huh? fantastic plans. Like what? Oh, to make coats, to build stores all over the world, to do everything by himself. You will be all rich, hmm? Yeah, but Peter hasn't talked to us about it. I also need uh, bullets for a 303. What? Bullets for a 303. What for? Because I want to make a necklace. You need a license to own a gun. Well, not to buy bullets. Maybe it work out. Put on my bill. Maybe it wouldn't. I don't understand. Are we getting the factory or not? What's going on here? Nothing. So beat it. Why? What's up with you? 
I want to get the other chiefs behind me, and then I want to go straight to the minister. Say what? He's interfering with our affairs. Isn't that kind of like his job? Okay. Let's do it. But what if you're wrong? I'm not wrong. Morning. Morning. We want to talk about the Singalis, the factory. Sure. Everybody should know about this. Okay. We'll call a band council meeting. Public meeting might be better. For the whole town. Today. We'll make it this evening. Then everybody can be there. Hey. Set it up. Whatever you say, boss. Go to the rec center? Yeah. Is he there? Yes. And? And? It's stupid. I can't sit on him all day. Oh, so what? We do nothing? Get him and Joey together and make them work it out. Tried that, it doesn't work. I want him under surveillance. I'm tired of playing games with him. I mean it. Eric, this That's is... an order. And put your gun on. Why? Because you're a police officer on duty. Well, I don't need it. Well, I want you to wear it. Part of your uniform. All right, target practice now. Stop it. What's the matter? What are you afraid of? I quit. Bill. Wait. Wait, God. What, that's it? I quit? I can't be a cop like you. I can't just draw lines. No one can. You try, that's all. I did try. I know the manual, Eric. I know it back to front. Never mind the goddamn manual. Well, that's what it's all about. That's why Andre died. No, he died because... No! I should have been in that room. Not Peter, not you. Because I knew Andre. I knew what to say to him. You were on side because I ordered you and... Yeah, and I obeyed. Because I was thinking like a cop, a white cop. Not like me. If I was thinking like me, it wouldn't have happened. Do you understand? I understand a man got shot. No. Go on, Ale. It's slavery for Mountie. And it means somebody who throws you in, in jail. Because that's what the police have always been to us. That's why I became a cop, because I thought it would be different. It is different. You grew up here. These people trust you. Well, I don't trust me. And it's not just Andre. It's every day, every time I put on this uniform. It's like two people living two lives. And I just can't hold it together anymore. Bengalis. The ones who wanted to buy the fur? The one you met with in Ottawa. Sorry? That's why you never went to the minister. Why stick your neck out? Do a co-venture with the Sengalis. A lot safer. Less risk for you. And a better deal for her. <laughs> she doesn't want us in Europe selling our stuff. <laughs> Picking your pockets dry. Because you don't know what you're doing. What's the matter, Luke? You afraid we'll embarrass you? Take the money and get drunk? What does the town think? We'll find out tonight. 
Oh, you win them over. You usually do. Come to the meeting with me and back me up. I can't. Your plan's been nixed. Then change your mind. Sorry. Then I'll go to the minister and ask him to investigate your actions. You interfered in the affairs of the Lynx River Band far beyond your jurisdiction. I'll get the Dene chief behind me and we'll paper your ass all the way from Ottawa to Tuktiaktuk. Peter! The tannery's a good deal. No. The big money's at the other end and we're gonna get it for once. Whatever the town decides, I'll back you up. Either way. And you'll stand up and say that? I can't. You know that. You have to convince them. And we keep the minister out of this. Eric, Sarah just bought a box of shells for 303. What the hell for? I just thought you should know. Thanks. Eric, is it true about Michelle? buying ammunition. <laughs> I'm gonna make necklaces and flog them to the tourists. Well, you don't have a gun or a license. I know. I feel left out. Have I broken the law? Not yet. Oh, there you are. Hi. Great. Excuse me. Are we gonna move? No. What are you gonna do? Well, I can do lots of things. I can teach or maybe be a counselor like Auntie Ellen. Maybe get into the fur business. Everybody says Andre was crazy. This isn't just because of Andre. Then why? Because I don't want people thinking of me as a cop. Like when there's a fight or something gets stolen, that's when they think of me. When people are sick, they think of Sarah. Well, she makes them better. So do you. Sometimes I make them worse. And it's not easy knowing what's right for people all the time. Do you understand? No. It'll be easier for you. Why? With the other kids. I know they make it hard on you sometimes. I don't care. Are you afraid of TV? No. Don't worry, we'll be fine. Peter. That's Michelle. You gotta talk to her. Just quit. I did, Eric. What did you say? Maybe it's the best thing for her. wants you to quit, Michelle. Michelle? Can I talk to you? Go on in. Do you hear that? Nobody wants you to quit. I'm sorry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about me? What am I supposed to do? I thought we were a team. You'll get somebody else. It won't be the same. I won't be the same. You remember when I first got here? Remember what I was like? Eric. No. Listen to me. I didn't have a clue. Running around here yelling at people, waving my gun. If I get it just half right now, it's because of you. It's not just the job. The reason I turned down the gig in Vancouver was because I wanted to stay here. Eric, you don't understand. No, you don't understand. I've never had a partner like you. I've never had a friend like you. I understand what I'm thinking. I'm not great with words, but it's easy with you. They keep telling us that we can't do this.
We've been making fur coats for 20,000 years. And what do we know about retail? Well, we've been artisans, traders, and builders long before they sent the experts to show us how to do it. But we keep listening to them. We keep doing what they want. And where's it gotten us? Yes, it's a risk. And yes, we'll make mistakes, but we'll learn from those mistakes and we'll become better. We'll become stronger and we'll become smarter. And what we build will be ours. We do not, I repeat, we do not need partners. We can do this on our own. Miss Angeli? And my family has done the fur business for many, many years. And it is for this, I know, it's a very difficult business, uh, especially these days. Very, very difficult. Many people lose much money. Maybe you want to take a chance. Hmm? Maybe you get rich. Maybe you get nothing. Uh, this is business. I cannot make you rich. But I can build a factory. And I will give you jobs. And the trappers get good money for their furs. This plan is not so big, but is not so dangerous either. A factory, the jobs, uh, money for the town, this is what the Sangalis will give you. So, say yes, and we begin. How many jobs? Rosie. Is it over? No, I just needed some air. How's it going? Well, we'll get the factory, I guess. Damn, Jerry, I should be there. Well, go ahead, I'll watch the store. Sure? Shaw, sure? you aren't really quitting, are you? Don't. We're trappers and hunters. Peter's heart is in the right place. He wants what's good for us. But we don't know business. Who else would like to speak? We all know Luke McNabb from uh, Indian and Northern Affairs. Luke, perhaps you'd like to say a few words? I'd like to thank the chief for his kind offer, but it's not my place to speak here. But I will personally get behind any decision that you make. Maybe we should vote. Dollar twenty five. Pay for it, TV. TV. Pay for it. It's your problem. You're not a cop anymore. I don't have any money. Well, then you're out of luck. Move it. Come on, Michelle, lay off. He stole a candy bar right in front of me. No kidding. Well, do I look like I'm kidding? No. Right in 
front of my nose. So does this mean you're... I guess. Oh. Should we book him? I've got a better idea. You pretend that you lost, but I think you got what you wanted all along. Yes? No? Maybe. I think yes. You are very smart. We do good business together. Ciao. 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 Congratulations. Everyone's a winner here. We'll see. No one gets everything they want. Except you. Look, you went to the people and they spoke. After you jerked their chain nice and tight. If we really had the power, we wouldn't need you. And then where would you be? <laughs> Drawing your big fat pension, I guess. Don't you judge me. I've been fighting for our people all my life. Yeah, look where we are today. You're welcome. For what? For everything. We could have had more. A lot more if somebody hadn't stabbed me in the back. Let me tell you something. This town is going to come out on top. And I'm sorry about your bruised ego. Watch your feet. Aim. Again. <laughs> Not so bad, is it? No. Get your own gun. But you're the one that's always making trouble. It's him, too. You always start it. Who cares who starts it? You wrecked it for everyone. It is important who starts it. TV. 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 Mm -hmm. Is that right? It's always him? He's always in my face. So fight back. He did. Look what happened. <laughs> Okay, so what do we do? Should we charge him with a criminal offense? Okay, so we ban him from the rec center permanently? Well, we gotta do something. That's why we're here. Make him stop fighting. I can't do that. They have to do that. Okay, so if they want to fight, they have to go somewhere else, not here. That's all we want. You hear that? If you start something here again, you're out. Well, what about him? It's not about him. It's about you. One of these days, Joey is going to kick his butt. Are you okay? 